Happy Saturday, boys and girls. Yeah, I almost went ow when I went, took that deep breath to say happy. Because hey, you got to get off with that. Happy, you got to take that deep, ha. You know, you want to come in with that happy Saturday. When I take that deep breath in, it's a little bit of pain, but not as much. I can feel it being stretched out and getting less and less. But anyway, happy Saturday, boys and girls. My name is Jerry Scott Mitchell, coming to you live from the default location, alternate weekend route. Mr. Scale told me 214.8 this morning, which is a very good way, which is a very good way in relation and relatively speaking, I guess that what I guess that's what in relation means. These people be like trying to run you over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see me walking across the street? Go look me in the eye and look away. He knew he was wrong. You gotta watch out when you walk in these streets. LA, there's more cars. There's way more cars and it probably happens as much as it does in Youngstown, but there's like one tenth of the amount of cars in Youngstown and it happens that much. People almost run you over. Anyway, Mr. Scales said 214.8. Went to bed, 216 something I think it was last night. Felt good, feeling good, motivated. We're over here by the car wash. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I used to go to, I usually go, I go to this car wash sometimes. On Wednesdays, it's like a dollar less. Like it makes a difference, but in my mind, you know, Wednesday is the day to go just because it's a dollar sale. And you'd be like, sale. You'd be like 99 cent instead of a dollar. Gotta go on Wednesday. Save that penny. Anything to get incentive. Human beings, whatever gives you incentive. It doesn't have to be justified. You justify it, whatever, whatever motivates you, whatever gets you out there. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that on, 214.8 today. Feeling good, out here getting steps. Just enjoying being with myself, enjoying time, spending time with Jeffrey, my best friend. Thinking about things I wanna work on and things I've been working on. And one of the things I have been working on is my YouTube videos, getting my YouTube videos posted and podcast it, you know, so for the Spotify's and the Apple TV's and the YouTube TV's and all that, the audio portion. And as I'm doing that, I pop them into YouTube, Their a transcript is created of, of them, and then I summarize the transcript using Note, G, Note, G, Note GPT. Click, 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 click. I even post a video of me click, click, clicking a few of them in and posted them. So I probably posted about 100 videos maybe. And still probably got probably another couple hundred to go from all my walks and stuff. Because I want them all up there. I want them all. I want them all up there. And in raw form. And, I, and that's one thing. Okay, so I've been you know posting all the videos lately. And so, as I post them, I get to go over them. So I'm getting a you know, transcript and a summary. You know, I'm reading the key points that the you know, AI thinks is, you know, picks out. And I notice, I talk a lot about my weight. I talk a lot about my weight. A lot of uh, weight, fitness, health, tags. So I tell it to create tags, and create tags and keywords. A lot of it's weight, health, you know, self, uh, appreciation of self, whatever the word is, I forget. You know, evidence, or, you know, a lot of that. A lot of those come up. Mental we health, we health, you know, take care of yourself. Those kind of words. I can't think of them right now. Come up. I was like, wow, I talk about my weight a lot. And I guess I do, you know. It's Jeffrey TV. And, you know, my weight, you know, I talk about it. And, full disclosure, I know that I'm winning the weight battle and probably 20% of that is bragging about it. I'm bragging about it because I want people to see that I'm out here doing it and they can do it. Lead an example. Another thing, I made a couple of videos today about my ego and what I think about what I think and how much I value my opinion and my philosophy and my writings. And this car is always out here. 
Just always see this car. He's always out here. I see him a bunch of times. Um, you know, so, and I value my thinkings and how I think, what I believe is my ideas and my policies, you know, how they rank, you know, up against the greatest thinkers in history. And I compare myself to the greatest thinkers and to the greatest people. In a little short synopsis, you know, of the end of the video yesterday, I took it out, I chopped it up, you know, and I made it a nice little short, two minute short, sent it to Opus Clips. It put uh, text to it, you know, real, you know, good, you know, just stuff like that. So I was able to go over, you know, stuff that I've done before. And I'm starting to see patterns and tendencies. And one, one thing happened also is that I ran across a video where I was talking about where I think there's nothing better. Because, you know, if you ask me, I would say lately, you know, I've been saying that there's nothing better than a human being becoming the person they want to be. I'll, see, it, to me, it's lately. I'm like, you know, this, you know, recently, recently, whatever, I came up with the concept or the idea that there's nothing better than a human being achieving or becoming the person that they want to be. There could be nothing, there's probably nothing higher than that. And then to come and find out, I said that two years ago. August 2nd, 2022 is where, is, is, I found me saying the same thing. And I was like, wow, okay. So I've been saying it for two years. That, that kind of surprised me. That kind of surprised me. And I know that I say a lot of stuff over and over again. Well, not over and over. I repeat myself on some topics and I don't mind that because I learned how to say them better. I, I, I probably add more to it. You know, there's more to go into it, more thought. You know, it's been tested over time. So this idea of nothing being better than a person becoming who they want to be has been in my mind for like two years now. So it stood the test, almost like a scientific test, the way of scrutiny or whatever, you know, of what I, other experiences have come through, other things have come through my mind that I've seen for two years. This is probably one of the, you know, I can legitimately say that this statement is still holding true. You know, after all this time, it's been two years. I'm like, two years? I've been saying this shit for two years? About the nothing better? I could have swore it was months. I, I mean, in my mind, you know, it didn't seem like two years. In my mind, it didn't seem like two years at all. But like August 2nd, 2022, I said it. And, I, and the way I said it in that video, it don't look like that was the first time I said it either. <laughs> So it's probably videos before that. And then also as I go through these videos and transcribe, you know, get to take the transcript and create a summary, I'll and be able to search them and categorize them and pull different subjects together, pull different subjects out of each video and combine it into one video and then categorize it and have it all in one place. Like have, you know, so I can like, not pound home a, pound home a point, but pound home a point, you know, to really emphasize and say what I really you know, wanted to say. I'm going to walk in the store. I wonder if I can walk in shooting the video or if I even want to. It's kind of crowded out here today. It's Saturday. And I don't even think I want to be bothered with that. People, you know, doing stuff. You see me walking by. People be like, right up by you. You see me walking by here. <laughs> I don't know. I might be, it's probably me being sensitive. It's probably me. Being sensitive, I grant you that. I will grant you that. It's probably me. But let me see. I'm gonna try this. If I pull this here like this, let me see. Watch this. Let me see what I can do. Something. Let me see if I can do something. How's that? Now I'm not walking. I'm just standing. I set the camera in a, a buggy cart, and since I got the mic on, I can move all the way back. I can move back here as far as this far. You still hear me just as good. I don't have to like be right up on the camera. But, you know, so it's, it's, it's kind of a good exercise 
I'm actually, you know, going through these videos, going through my, you know, archives of video, because I keep every video. I think every video is important. Even with me just talking or saying something crazy, I think in my mind, that's going to be precious in the library and museum that's built and constructed after I'm gone. <laughs> like a presidential library in my, in my library. Any little thing I do, it's like Jesus. It's like if you Jesus, right? Anything Jesus does or touches is precious. I mean, if Jesus was to, you know, have a bowel movement, that bowel movement is the bowel movement of God. So that's precious. I mean, you can't, you know, spit anything, dirty draws, everything, you know, that's God. So, you know, and, and, I, and you say, Jeffrey, are you comparing yourself to Jesus? And the answer, answer is yes. And that's what one of my videos was about yesterday, how I put myself, how I literally compare myself eye to eye, straight across to the greatest thinkers and the greatest people in the history of mankind. Granted, I might not have the work ethic and the dedication that they had to their task and to their subject, but I'm cooler. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's just a balance. I'm sure there's other people who work twice as hard, really hard, really hard, really hard, you know, and got it done. You'll hear about Prince just working 24 hours a day. You hear about Einstein just going at it. You know, all these people, Newton, all them, who just really go at it and just, you know, constantly work on their craft and work on their craft. That ain't me. You know, I'm going to do it, then I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, you know, as long as I'm happy. See what I got on back of here? Got my Steeler thing on. Steelers play today at four o'clock. So, it, but I do compare myself to them. And, and that's one of the videos that I made yesterday was how I value my opinion, what I think, my thoughts, and my ideas right up there with the best of them. You know, and, but basically one of the main things I was saying about that is that you have to believe that. That is a part of being great. If you want to be great, you have to wake up thinking that. Nobody's going to believe in you unless you believe in you. And you have to believe in you to a degree that's almost obsessive. You have to believe in you to like, it's almost like uh, have an obsession and a psychotic tendency towards doing whatever it is. And I was saying, I have something like that towards Jeffrey TV. I'm just going to keep building and building and building no matter what. And I was saying, you know, to, uh, I forget where I was going with that. You know, to be great, you know, you'd have to do that. And then today I'm thinking, well, do I want to be great? Do I? Do I want to be great? I don't know if I want to be great, but I want to do something great. I want to do and achieve something great. And I already may have, you know, in a couple of things. All the things that I passion, the things that I passion, I definitely have put my fingerprint on you know, to a, to a very high level, very high level. A couple of things that I really, you know, uh, really, really, really passion, I put my stamp on, atheism and peep phone. You know, I'm heard, my voice is heard. I've had my stamp, I've had my impact on both of those. And so, you know, maybe I've done our, enough already, not enough, you know, well maybe, you know, but I want more, I want it. I'm still, I just keep, I want it, I want to find that. Maybe that grand unified theory, that, that one simple sound bite, that little one thing that just clears it all up for everybody, you know, and it, it, it lies around why are we here and what is our goal and purpose? Without a goal and purpose, there could be no right or wrong and all in that kind of philosophy. And in my book, I want to develop, you know, that whole thing and put it together in a package to where I basically want to start with there never was nothing. I want to start before the Big Bang explain how I feel, how the Big Bang happened, how the universe came into evolution, uh, uh, how the evolution came, uh, creation, uh, evolution, explain mankind, philosophies, it just all the way up until when I was born, and then right, go through my life, and then funk and atheism and, you know, party, You're not partying, but, you know, going through school, college life, the whole thing. I'm, I'm gonna, that might be two books. Let's just face it. That might be two books. But um, it, I do you know, put myself up in there. And like, so I was thinking, do I want to be great? Do, you know, that's a valid question. Do I want to be great? How I look? Don't look okay? How I look? I got out another shirt. This is one of the old cotton shirts. I didn't want to wear the black good one. My new black one I got, I don't want to wear that one. I want to save that one in case I like go out or something, you know, something, for, something really nice. So I got one of my older black ones. And I probably could throw away some of those nasty gray ones that's all kind of beat up and stretched out. I could probably get rid of them. 
you know, now that I have a, you know, new supply trickle down, you know, got something better, get the old one go out. But anyway, I just wanted to get this down, let y'all see what I look like in my cotton shirt out here on a Saturday, get that out about being great. And I made a couple short videos that I would post, you know, about uh, how I feel about me and what I think and do I want to be great? You know, am I already great? You know, cause when you're great, I'm gonna say a fish don't know he wet again. When you're great, you just keep going. You don't know you're great. You know, you see glimpses of it. You know, you get an idea that you, you know, you, you putting it down better than a lot of other people. You know, you know, you're more capable than other people. Do you feel, you know, where you're at? No, you just want to keep going. You want to keep going, keep building, keep building. And that's what I kind of want to do today. I want to, you know, go in here, get these flour tortillas. No, these corn tortillas and maybe some, I ain't buying no more guacamole. I ain't buying no more guacamole. I think I got sour cream and cheese. What goes on nachos? I don't want peppers. Onions? What, what, what else goes on nachos? Okay. Just cheese and sour cream? Got it. And meat? Cheese, meat, sour cream? That might be enough. That might be enough. All right. You know, maybe some sauce or something. I don't know. I don't know. Help me. Help me out here. You know, watch out for the game. Come on at four. Maybe get some work done. Go in there. Eat my regular breakfast. Grits. Maybe some cottage cheese. And some uh, half a sausage. Eat my breakfast and just work until game time, and, you know, and Jeffrey TV stuff. You know, and definitely not going, I don't think I'm gonna be lazy. I don't, I'm definitely not gonna be lazy. But I'm, and I'm definitely not gonna eat. I can at least do that. I can not eat till the game. And then start cooking with, around game time. Fry up those corn tortillas. I like to fry them. Sprinkle a little salt on them. Lay them down on the bed. A plate, put that meat on it. Got meat left over from the graduation party a couple months ago, frozen. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't got no sweets. No sweets in the house. I might not get sweets. I might make brownies tonight, but I might not get sweets and have to come back out and get sweets. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna get any sweets. And if I want some, I have to come back out and get them. And maybe I'll walk or something, you know, just keep pushing myself like that. And also, I should go to Starting Gate tonight to see the O Show. That's what I need to do. I need to go to Starting Gate tonight and see the O Show, but shh, man, we'll see. Anyhow, swing on y'all two times. For me, for the funk, and for every elementary particle that has ever existed in any atom in this or in any universe that ever was, is, or will be, and hypothesis of it all. Theory of universe. <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot! Hypothesis of all as one. Theory of universe. Theory of universe. Theory of universe. Hypothesis of all as one. What's the third one? Oh, Jesus Christ. Theory of universe. Hypothesis of all is one. Totality. What is it? All is... I forgot. Oh my God. I forgot. Y'all see this? I forgot. <laughs> I done said this so many times I done forgot. Okay, thank you all y'all. For me, universe. For every elementary particle that's ever since any atom in this or any universe that ever was, is or will be. Totality of it all. Hypothesis of all as one. Theory of universe. My name is Jeffrey. Damn it. <laughs>